Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. We are headed to Michigan tonight to visit Jake's family for Labor Day. So super excited about that. I'm gonna meet the rest of his family. So thought I would do a little vlog today, a little pack with me. I am about to head into a local bagel shop called Abraham's. I'm gonna pick them up some bagels when they were up here. They uh, went there and they loved it and I wanna bring them something, but I'm trying to think of something I could bring on the plane. So figure I can just throw these in my purse. Uh, but anyway, let's get to it. About to see the world in action, what we can be. Life with no distractions, we'll get away. This is what we waited for. Take my hand, we'll make it. Okay, back home now. I need to turn this music down. So I don't get copyrighted, but about to get this packing going. It's already about one o'clock, so I need to hustle. I pulled a lot of the clothes I want to bring out last night. I should have put them together and pack them up. I always do this. I told myself I would have this going and all done by yesterday, and my suitcase is empty. So that is where we're at. I have a little list on my computer of what I need to bring. I also stopped at a boutique downtown called Bobbles and Lace on the way home hoping to find some more stuff to bring, which was probably good I didn't because I need to stop buying things, but I did buy a little ring that was only $16, so thought it was super cute. If you're local, there's baubles and laces everywhere. Uh, now along the East Coast, not the East Coast, along the North Shore, um, New England area. They just made one in Connecticut too, but I will have them linked in the description if you wanna check them out. They post all their stuff online too, but I thought this was so cute. Oh, it's not even focused. There we go. One, three, this is cute. Come here. Hi. I'm going to miss you. What's that? Okay. Do you like this one? Cute. Whoosh. Whoosh. Boy. Okay. This is so random, but one thing I will do when I know a trip is coming, so I'll just text myself outfit ideas that I find over on Pinterest, and then I'll refer back to them when I'm packing, because most of the time I am extremely last minute, and then I get stressed and overthink what I'm packing, so having a little visual is really helpful, right? right <laughs> and i'm also going well we're also going to disney with my family in about two weeks so same thing it kind of just helps i i scroll on pinterest almost every morning when i'm having my coffee so when i see an outfit that might go well with a certain trip coming up i'll just immediately text it to myself and then that way i can look back when i'm starting to create outfits for whichever trip and it just helps make ideas, gets you inspired, and gets that creativity going. Okay, first outfit option. I'm actually trying this stuff on so I don't overpack. But for example, what I just mentioned to you guys, um, I saw this outfit a couple, or I guess on last Tuesday, on Pinterest that I thought would be such a cute outfit for uh, this trip just because it kind of gives you the fall vibe, but it's still gonna be really warm. So I have a shirt that is literally the same thing except in this pink color. It's from Vici. My focus is being extremely annoying. I'm gonna flip it. So I feel like this is really cute. I tucked it in the way the girl did. I'd probably adjust it more when I'm actually gonna wear it out. It definitely needs to be fixed, but uh, she also had a cool little chain uh, pendant necklace on. So I have one super similar. This is from Vici 2. I got it a while ago. I don't know if they still have it, but I feel like this will be really cute just for a casual uh, night out. Because like I said, we're going to be casual, but I still want to look cute. Okay, just swapped it out with these jean shorts. These jean shorts are my favorite. They're from Abercrombie. I have them in white too, but they just fit so, so well. I have been grabbing for these all summer long. So I think I'm going to do them with these ones instead. And... Yeah, so one outfit, we are good. 
Okay, next up, this sweater from Shop Lane 201. I feel like this will just be a really good piece to wear at night. Super lightweight, but night times will definitely cool down a little bit. But I have been finding a lot of really cute fall pieces from there. So I'll have them linked down below too. But super basic. I love just bringing some things that I know will just work and this might seem really simple but i love simple pieces i found that in the last year i have been trying to stock up on more basics that i know i can wear with so many different outfits and layer with versus more uh different pieces so i have found that has helped a whole lot so i'm going to bring this one too another vici purchase from last year but this sweater is so so comfy another good option for the nighttime because like i said it's going to be really nice this weekend but with this time of the year it definitely drops at nighttime so i thought whoa i thought this one would be really cute just throw it on with shorts and yeah if this one is still uh in stock at vici i'll link it but as you guys know, they get new arrivals literally every week. I actually haven't bought from them in quite a bit, so I need to check them out because I'm sure they have a lot of cute fall clothes, but this one is so comfy. Okay, a couple more really cute fall tops. I'm realizing a lot of this stuff is from Beachy, so I need to get back on there and look at their new arrivals, but this one I love so much. Once again, really good for a transitional top because it's still super lightweight, but has that uh, fallish design and pattern. So I will definitely be bringing this one. I love the details on the sleeves and then the back is pretty open. I'm always so bad at showing the backs of my shirts when I'm alone, but I love this one. Let me flip it around this way. This is one thing I'm really excited about with my new house is that my uh, floor length mirror faces the opposite way of the window. So I feel like when I show full outfits in there it's a little bit dark but now you can really see the pattern and the design it is so cute so i'll definitely bring this one i feel like that's the key with fall fashion i guess depending on where you live is to find tops and uh, clothing that's lightweight that you can layer with because i feel like we all want to start wearing fall clothes in september but sometimes it's like 80 degrees in september so you still want to get that vibe but not be sweating so I love these kind of tops. Okay, this is a whole different vibe, but this top I love. It's from Lane 201. Clearly I shop at like the same three stores, but I thought this one was cute. Same shorts, but in white. Um, yeah, like I said, these are the best shorts. You need them. I get the curve love ones because I definitely have curves, so they just fit me a little bit better. They're not as tight. So I feel like this one will be cute if we end up going um out for a casual dinner but yeah i actually like i said i went and bought this ring from bobbles and lace and they have a bunch of really cute necklaces this one is not from there but i might swing by on my way to drop coda off because they had one that i thought was cute that would look really cute with this top so i will be packing this one too this top i would for sure wear with jean shorts but i'm too lazy to go put them back on i think i'm gonna bring this one too just to have options and i know it won't add any weight because it's super uh lightweight and there's really not much to it so this one's real cute i got this one from abercrombie or not from abercrombie from american eagle a couple years ago but yeah if there's one day that's just like really warm i feel like this will be a good choice 6 10 p.m it's a great time to play pickleball. Meeting up with Chris here after work, going down to Meadowbrook Park down in Kansas. They have some nice public courts I haven't checked out yet. So gonna meet up with Chris, play some pickleball, and talk with you guys then. About to see the world in action, what we can be. Life with no distractions, we'll get away. This is what we waited for. All right, Chris won the first one. I came back on the second. So here's the championship game. Come on. Got 
battle. Let's go. All right, Chris. What happened on that last game? I was just feeling it, man. He I felt was vibing. it. Uh, we had some good rallies, but uh, I just came out on top. You know, it was my night. He got me, guys. <laughs> I act like I'm so good. I'm not. <laughs> Chris is good. All right, but he's got a bunch of paddles, so. Demos. All right. We're I take them 30 out. seconds. Show us what's up. Trying them out here. We got a lot. Uh, I think this is a Selkirk. I'm not sure, but I liked it a lot. This is Jake's favorite. The hula. We've got an Electrum. Those got that like carbon fiber touch. Yeah, it does. A little grip to it. A little grip, good spin. We got another one. That's one of the newer ones. Yeah, one of the newer ones. A little, little. It's uh, like three hundred dollars. and shorter than the other one. Super nice racket. And then we got the head. Yep. And uh, this is all the demos. That's the one I got on Amazon that I'm sending back if I can. <laughs> what one was your uh, your favorite? You know, gotta say, it's kind of funny that I'm wearing these colors right now, but uh, these are my two favorites. <laughs> <laughs> I must, I must have known. You know, it's one of those things when you're feeling it, you're just feeling it. So, Dude, good gotta, game, man. Gotta make a decision. You won two out of one. Till next time. Till next time. Okay, on my way to the airport now. Without fail, I am always running late on the way to the airport i could start getting ready and packing so early and i just underestimate how long it's gonna take and i just dilly dally but anyway i should be okay there wasn't any traffic but once i get there i'm gonna share with you guys some packing um things that i just got that are such a game changer including this cow pack bag it fits so much and it's considered a personal item so I will have time once I'm through security to share uh, that with you guys and kind of show you guys what I have in there. Um, but for now, I need to get to the airport. Okay, it is so many days later, but I got to the airport and was going to film more packing stuff or show you guys the things I brought uh, at the airport. And it was so busy. I just could not fathom put, pulling out my camera and filming in front of all of those people. But I am gonna share with you guys this bag I just got from CalPAC to end this video. I'm gonna share some more packing uh, supplies and things that I have that make pack or traveling a whole lot easier this week because we are going on another trip on Thursday. So make sure you're subscribed. I'll post that vlog in the next couple of weeks. But first I wanna show you this bag because this has made traveling so much easier. I used it for the first time on that trip to Michigan. It's from CalPAC. I found it from Danny Austin over on Instagram, but it is so perfect if you especially if you aren't checking a bag i typically always check a bag but for these weekend trips it is a whole lot easier not uh, i am checking a bag for florida but uh that being said this is considered a personal item so it is probably the capacity for how big you can bring of a personal item but it holds so much i crammed so much in here for michigan and it definitely helped since I wasn't checking a bag. And then it also has on this side, it has a little slip. So it just slips right onto your suitcase, which is just so helpful, especially when you're traveling alone and you have to balance all of the different things in the airport. You just slide this right on and you're good to go. It won't like tip off or anything. It also has a front little pocket and then inside there's some more um, slots to put stuff but like I said this thing held so much I'll have it linked below I have it in this rose gold pinkish color but this color does sell out pretty quick I think it's still in stock if not they have it in like four other colors too but cannot recommend that one more they might still be doing Labor Day sales so I would hop on that if that's the case but anyway I'm gonna close out this vlog now we are leaving for Florida on Thursday uh, so you guys will see a Disney vlog coming up too. So lots of fun content. And then a week-ish later, I move to Kansas City. So travel vlogs, all of that is coming. Also, let me know if you guys can tell I'm shooting on a different camera right now. We typically film on uh, the Canon EOS M50. That camera is quite big though for uh, vlogging 
uh, in public and just vlogging on the go because it's so bulky and it can just be a lot to carry that around. So I went out and got the G7X to have for when we want something more compact. We'll definitely still use the other one. That other one is such a good camera, uh, but more for like sit down videos. This will be perfect, especially for Disney. I can just put it in my pocket or like in my little Lulu fanny pack bag. So let me know if you can tell a difference in which one you prefer. I feel like they're probably pretty similar. Anyway, we will see you guys in the next video. Be free.